right, guys. Got a cushion on here. Uh, pretty much recovered from my surgery. And now, today's episode, I'm going to be doing some a side quest and an open-ended quest. Now, the side quest I'm doing is called Bandit Spy Extraction. And I took a boast of doing it friendless. But this is the last side quest of the original Fable storyline. So, if I do any other side quest, it's going to be TLC exclusive from now on. But I start in Battlestone North because this is where you meet the person. So just running north. And I just get right, let's talk to her. My name is Tanya. I'm a deep cover bandit intelligence operative. Otto, one of our agents, is secretly in place with a trader group. But the net is closing around him. It's your job to get him out. Follow me. My bandit controllers will explain more. And in case you're wondering, this is purely an evil side quest. I mean, technically you're rescuing someone, but it is an evil side quest. So, if you're a good character, you might want to skip out on this. We're about to ambush a trader convoy. One of our men, Otto, is undercover in the convoy. He's already nicked some goods. We need to get our man out before the convoy gets there. You'll recognize him easy enough. He's the one with the big mustache. Find him. Attract his attention or get him to follow you. Then you need to head back to Bowerstone North with him. Tanya will meet you there. We'll help you out, but we're not stupid. It'll cost you 100 gold to hire any one of us. Any swag that's dropped along the way is yours. And that's a good deal, but I already did the, the boast where I'm getting not going to hire any of these guys, so I'm doing this solo. And you can pretty much do it solo, especially if you have a good enough slow time. And in case you're wondering, I actually oh, leveled up the slow time to level 4 now, so I can do the most slow tiniest of them all now. Alright, so this is where the quest starts. Do the quest unassisted. Alright, so you can see, I could hire these guys if I want to, but I'm not. And so, of course, along the way, you're going to be fighting a few guards. And I'm sporting the new Scorn's Bow now. If you're wondering where I got that, just check the, la the first extra video. But yeah, you see, I'm getting evil points for killing these guys. So yeah, this is why it's pretty much an evil mission. Because this is all you're killing. Guards and traitors. And you can actually do, um, massacre, um, boasts as well, which involves killing all the traitors and all the guards. They're separate boasts, but I decided not to do them because I didn't want to make this quest any more complicated than it already was. Alright, so that's all of them, so go to Windmill Hill. Now, slow time as soon as you enter this area, because up in the wind, you see there are traders already on the path, and it's kind of a convoyish thing. But, um, yeah, the, the guy you're looking for is in the windmill, the black building on the right of the map. So, you need to get up there before he gets into the next area, because the convoy actually does actively move. And if you wait till he gets to, um, give it woods, you have to fight through another area of guards. And you probably don't want that, so just... Alright, I don't know where he's going. But, um... Oh, look, there's Otto. So, yeah, I don't want to talk. Alright. Kill all the guards initially. Do not talk to Otto un until all the guards are dead. The traitors can't really do any damage to Otto, but the guards can. And Otto, when I am told, has a pretty low HP, so... Yeah. Or at least a lot lower than your mother did during that one mission. Alright, so... All the guards are pretty much dead. Am I being sprung? Yes, being sprung. Let's go. And you see there are a few enemy units that spawn at the south part of the map. So now we gotta... Oh, wow. Sharpening augmentation. See, that's why it's good to kill traitors, because they actually drop good stuff sometimes. But... Let's kill these guards because they're threatening to kill Otto. Yeah, these guards only come up when you, um, you know, talk to Otto. This is why I said to talk to Otto once all the other guards are dead. Because, you know, you don't want to be overwhelmed. And Otto got a little scratch there, but... Heal life. Alright, so let's go. Oh, someone's following him. 
those other guys we don't have to worry about. But all we have to do is just get him back to Battlestar North. So, we just got one area to burn through since I got him here at the Windmill Hill. Alright, so you can see there's quite a few uh, I mean guards here now. You can see the much bigger dots, so that pretty much tells you that these guys are new. So, yeah, I'm working on my bow because if you watched the last extra video, I actually maxed out all my physical stuff in order to get the Harbinger. So, yeah, all my toughness, uh, physique, and health are all at level 7 now, so there's no need to continue training the strength. So, yeah. And look at that. 20 times multiplier, so I'm getting some good experience. Alright, just a few more guards and we're home free. This score is really useful, huh? I think these red guards are actually dying off faster than the uh, blue guards. I guess they're the Bargate prison style guards. But look, we made it! We really appreciate your help. We'll be in touch. And remember, the blue ninth crouches at the quarter past three. What? Thanks for getting me out, mate. We stole some valuable information and swag from them lot. Here, have this as your share of the profit. Oh, cool. Oh, sharpening augmentation. Not bad. Although I did find one off that corpse. Look at that, the Traitor's Head Trophy. As a reward for completing this mission. It's a pretty grisly trophy, but hey, we did it. Okay, so now let's go to the open-ended quest. This becomes available after you kill Twin Blade. With you. And way. go behind the house where you ah, used to live, or you, where Paladin. those two cheating we could were. use the help of a hero. And talk of to course, this guard. I was hoping for someone like Thunder to come along. But, well, but keep in mind though, this is Lost Chapters exclusive. Like so if you're playing original Fable, this better. not this We've does been not pop up. A well-known assassin, a real vicious killer, and he's hiding out in the bandit camp. Ooh, of course, bandit camp. we'd never be able See, this to is get why. him. But you had to clear out the bandit camp the first. You, and then that this guy snake comes. bit probably feels like oh. Don't worry though. Oh, this is more jerk. about vengeance about that? than the law. That scumbag killed my brother. There's one thousand gold waiting for you. If he can do the job. Yeah, this quest is mainly just so well, thing to get some gold out I of. Trust you, but just you don't do this assassin, until you're like pretty powerful because you. the guys so I suppose it works evolved out are actually way. pretty strong. You'll get your money when that butcher is dead. But whatever. We have to kill this assassin guy. Do this guy's dirty work because he's a pussy. So I teleport to Twin Blades camp. The assassin is actually at Twin Blades tent though, so we gotta run through there. There are actually hostiles in the elite camp, so be careful. But look, here's the assassin. You haven't seen a group of guards around here, have you? Big, hairy fellows led by a real nasty piece of work. That bastard's been hunting me down for days. Can you believe it? My own brother wanted to kill me. Whoa. I know we haven't always got on. Thought he and said he, the brother he killed him. The guards and I, well, or I whatever. went a different way. But we're still brothers. We're not even that different. That bastard He's killed his fair share of people too, you know. I know what he's thinking. Mother's ill again, and he's never been able to convince her to write me out of her will. Oh, uh, yes, bro. Who's going to question a guard who brings down an assassin? Yeah, I see. Time to kill you. Hey, put that weapon away, will you? I'm a bit jumpy at the moment. You could get yourself hurt. Can't be too careful these days. Hmm. You haven't seen a guard. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna kill you. So he sent you, did he? I should have known that coward wouldn't have the guts to kill me himself. So, how much is he, um, you know, paying you? One thousand gold? Hmm. Now what would you say if I doubled that, and you get rid of my brother instead? With him gone, the See, inheritance See, this is why I thought it would be pretty powerful. Yes. Yeah. Because you either kill a very high-skilled assassin, now, or you kill you a accept. black guard. And both are pretty... That kill. No. So I say no for some. Do you know how many people I have to kill to earn two thousand? This is how you get what the most 2, money. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. And I first I accept it. And this does give you some evil I points, but there's a way to actually get even it. more money and cancel Pleasure out those evil points. You. you are a true mercenary. And that is to do the old "don't trust the spy" thing or whatever, and attack him. I must say you've got guts. Take my gold and then try to kill me, huh? You should know better than to double cross an assassin. Eh, it's only business. Alright, let's slow time again because he cancelled it out. 
Now, compared to the other assassin in this game, this assassin here has a surprisingly large amount of health. It takes me quite a bit to kill him, actually, which is weird. Because if you've been uh, surviving those assassin attacks um, that Twin Blades sent on you, whether through if you killed him or you didn't, uh, this assassin has quite a bit more to him than those regular assassins. I mean, you see this like the third or fourth floor I've hit him with and he's still standing. And I gotta end it here with this guy's death. This is Guy Cushion 9. Watch the conclusion of this little thing in the next video. See you later.